everyone, this is Lama St. Anne. Rav one. And we're doing a Pottopia mystery box. And right. About the rest. Sure, I'll tell you about the rest. <laughs> so Poptopia, they did a little bit different of a mystery box this time. This was a $10 mystery box. Um, pretty sure there was 100 boxes you could get. Um, there wasn't numbers you picked. It was just you bought how many ever you want. We bought four of them. Um, I think they said the guaranteed value was $10 a piece on these. So they're not going to be... If we didn't get any of the big hits, they're not going to be any of the... They're not going to be like super expensive pops, most likely. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the the top hit in this one, um, and I'll have a picture of it up on the screen. Um, I can't remember actually. I know it was pretty good though. I remember looking up and it was probably like a two or three hundred dollar pop for wow. ten bucks. So and, and again, out of a hundred, we bought four. So you know, because it's like a four percent chance of pulling it, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. It's not like you know, some of the companies you buy from they do 50, you know, 150 or 300 or 500 boxes. So your chances are way lower. With only 100 boxes, you have a better chance of pulling one of the bigger hits. And they also had, I think, like, I think it was like 12 like chase ones you could get as well. So you count that. There's like 13 like hits you could get out of these, as opposed to commons. Um, so it's like a 13% chance out of, right out of the bat. And we bought four boxes, so that just you know gives us four chances to get that. So yep. awesome. Yep. I'm gonna stop rambling. We'll open these up like we always do. We'll show you everything, then we're gonna blur away for a little bit, we'll come back, and then we'll tell you what the values are and see if we had a good buy or a bad buy with this mystery box. And Poptopia, if you remember, um, they don't ship in boxes, they just ship in like packing material, but I'm pretty sure all their pops ship in protectors, right? Isn't that how that works with Poptopia? What? I think all the pops ship in protectors, right? Uh, but they're all, you can see, they're all just wrapped up in paper here, so. If I can Yes. So we're going to put this off to the side here. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to pull it out with the paper. I'll try to find the front of the box. Let's see. If it's not in a pop protector, it's easy to find. But if it's in a pop protector, it won't be. So let's see. You know, these are definitely in pop protectors. So we'll pull the first one. Three, two, one. We have... Oh, Hisoka. We've had this one before. Hunter Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. Hisoka. I think actually this had pretty decent value, didn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. I don't remember, but I don't remember. Pop looks like it's in. I'm not gonna pull it out of the box right yet. It looks pretty decent. I don't see any like major bends or folds in the box or anything. But Ahsoka from Hunter x Hunter. We're both not huge anime fans, so this is definitely an anime pop. Nice so anime. anime is like Japanese animation, like Dragon Ball Z, the Inuyasha we've pulled, um, Naruto, all those kind of pops. That's all. An that's anime. Yeah. We don't watch that. yeah. All right, so well, this one's wrapped with, it's really nicely wrapped. Okay. Yeah. All, right. Okay. all right, let's see if I can. All right, this is the back side here. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a Back to the Future back pop. Back to the future. All okay. right, Marty, 1955. Didn't you say you needed this one? I think that's the one that I did need. Oh my gosh, this is the one that I needed. Wow, so guys, if you watch one of our previous videos, we opened up a bunch of Back to the Future Pops, and this was the only one I needed to complete the collection from the Back to the Future ones on the back here, and we just pulled it. It's so cool. That's pretty awesome. So, I mean, that's cool. Regardless of what this is worth, this is going straight into my collection. So, yeah. that's awesome. That's really cool. Boom. I like that. And, uh, and, and we also love Back to the Future. We do, yeah. Back to the Future is one of our favorite movie franchises. I even like it. Yeah, you saw all three of them. Mm -hmm. Which one was your favorite? Um, First one, second one, or third one? I forget what happened. First one, he's in 1955. The second one, he goes to 2015. <laughs> then to 1985. Then back to 1955. And then back to 1985. No, I'm sorry. No, 1955. Then he go. Then at the end of it, he needs to go back to... 18, what was it, 1855, I think it was, where Doc was, in the Wild West, so. 18, 1885, 1885. Probably the first one, the first one with the Yep, I like that one a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, back to the future talk. Let's, yeah. go, let's go into the third pop here. Yeah. All right, third pop. Back to the future All right, I didn't see it, but I got the back side so we can show you mm -hmm. in three, two, one. We have a DC Superheroes. This is the Superman holiday sweater. Um, Ooh, that one's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it, is this this year's or is this last year's? This is this year's. This is brand new. 
That's actually pretty cool. I actually thought about maybe even getting these. They have like Superman and Batman and Joker and the, the holiday theme. That's pretty awesome. I'm not I'm not actually upset about getting that pop. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And really nice condition too. So we actually might keep that one. Pop heroes. All right, last one. Let's see if we got any of these big ones. Let's see the back side. Got the back side. I saw it was a Marvel pop. Didn't see what it was, but we're gonna show you guys in three, two, one, boom. We have, oh, that is the infamous Iron Man. I see a P, wow, there's a lot of stickers on here. Okay, infamous Iron Man, official merchandise, Halloween Comic Fest, October 31st, 2020, limited to, what's that say? 50,000 or 30,000? 30, 30,000. Limited to 30,000, glows in the dark, PX previews exclusive. I don't know too much about this. It just obviously just came out. We're filming this video on November 29th. This came out on October 30th, so that's a brand new pop. But it's limited. I mean, 30,000 is a pretty big run, but it's still pretty awesome to get a limited piece like that. So yeah. let's hope it has some value right now, some resale value as well. So pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys. So as always with all of our videos, uh, you will see the blur in, blur out. We'll come back, and then we'll tell you what, we're, what they wore. We'll tell you if we made a good buy in this or a bad buy. I'm thinking right now it's a good buy based on just what we got. I mean, pay 40 bucks. We're probably going to have more than $40 of value here, I would imagine. So. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in a couple seconds. Hey guys, we're back. Um, so first pop uh, we looked up, we have Hunter x Hunter Hosoka. It's actually worth $20. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's actually amazing. pretty decent. Not a bad hit on that one, a good looking pop. So that'll be up on eBay for us, yep. sweet. And uh, Back to the Future, Marty 1955 is worth sixteen dollars. Okay, so, well, we're keeping it anyway. So yeah, and well, again, we paid ten dollars for that box and got sixteen out of that one. So I mean, we're already up. What's that? Sixteen dollars just on the first two, which is pretty awesome. So we have Superman and a holiday sweater. That is worth twelve dollars. Okay. So that's not bad. Second, so up two dollars though. So we're up eighteen dollars as of right now. Okay, and now the. Infamous Iron Man is worth $16. Wow. So another six. So yep. that's $24 total. Up. So we paid $40. We have $64 in value. And I'm actually surprised that this was the most worth. I thought this one would be most. Right. So the thing, here's the thing though. We paid $40. We got $64 in value. Yeah. We're going to definitely sell the Hunter x Hunter one. Mm -hmm. We're definitely keeping the Marty 1955. The Infamous Iron Man, I'm going to have to think about. Um, and the Superman, I'm gonna have to think about. I might sell them, I might keep them. I'm not 100% certain, well, but definitely selling the one, so. Well, if we, how much did we pay? 40. Well, we got, well, we got 20 of 40, so we got half. Yeah, we got half. If we sell that, we make the half back. Yeah. Which basically means that we've got, we would have then paid 20 bucks for all three of these, which is phenomenal, so. You know, so good, good, good haul. Poptopia yeah. again coming through again. They just said guaranteed value of ten dollars back. We got more than ten dollars in every single one of them, yeah. and we didn't get any of the big hits in the box either. So that's a win every way, every way you cut it, right? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So good video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as we did unboxing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, do the thing. Like. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. And ring the bell. Ring the bell, All right, guys? Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And as always, stay, stay safe. safe. Bye. Bye.